Welcome to System Test 35 with the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. I put together a fun little system today which I think you're really going to like, starting with the Wheelock 7000 2T Horn Strobe. I'm a big fan of these units and I'm excited to share today that this one in particular is wired up to a relay and that relay has filtered power coming out of it so it's going to sound normal. It's right now set on code 3, however later on in the test we'll have to set it to continuous to hear that classic 7002T sound with the strobe skipping and all on continuous. Moving to the left, we have a system sensor SS-24 for a strobe. And then going down, we have a CPG MMPS Series A dual action pull station. And then for a more vintage pull station, I decided to put up the Thorn B5. For the non-fire side of the system, I have a SIGCOM SG-42CXK2 yellow alert emergency pull station installed. And I have this programmed so that when you pull this, all three relays activate on the fire alarm control panel. And what does that mean? It means the siren, the sounder beacon, and the quarter lights will all turn on at the same time. And between the sounder beacon and the siren, I definitely think the siren will overpower the sounder beacon by a lot, because this thing is loud. But I thought it'd kind of be fun to pull one and trigger all three. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, let's activate the MMPS and hear the 7002T on code three. Here we go. Open to activate and pull down. I don't know about you, but I think the 7002T being coded to code 3 is a little bit odd. It just sounds weird, especially with that strobe skip in there occasionally. So I'm, I don't think I'm that big of a fan of it. I think I'm more of a fan of it straight continuous, which we should go test that out here. So let's reset the pull station, or reset the whole panel, and then program it to do continuous. Panel reset. And then I have this on NAC1, so we'll just have to go in and change NAC1 from code 3 to continuous. Steady. All right, now it's changed, and let's go ahead and activate the Thorn B5, and here the 7002T on steady. Here we go, lift and pull down. Yep, definitely like the 7002T on continuous a lot better than code three. All right, let's reset the Thorn B5. Takes a hex key, and it's right there where they decided to put the screw. Makes it a little bit difficult, but it's still doable. Here's what the inside of it looks like.
hard to do with one hand. And we're reset. Okay, something I haven't done in a while is resetting the main fire alarm control panel with this white reset switch that I have down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Just stick the key in and turn it to reset. And that resets the main system. All right, there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and activate all three of the programmable relays on the fire alarm control panel with this yellow emergency pull station that we have down here. Here we go. Had a power fluctuation there. Well, I think that's gonna do it for system test 35 on the ADT Unimode 10UD demonstration fire alarm system. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day. We'll do a fire drill.